This is huge right here. I gave almond milk to them this morning. I nuked it in the microwave for a few seconds just to take the chill off. And they are drinking it. I am so happy. Good morning. It's almost the babe's nap time. Holding out for a little bit, so I'm giving them a snack. See if that helps. I am skipping the afternoon nursing today, so we will see how that goes. They finally like almond milk. Yay. Well, they liked it before, but I mean, let's say they're actually drinking it. They're on their second cup this morning, even though they both did a big nurse this morning. They both nursed on both boobs, like one right after the other for like... He did it for like 30 or so minutes. She did it for 30 or so minutes at least, and it's like, jeez, I got no more, so... They're really um, fussy and whiny and wanting to nurse a lot. And, I mean, it's been a week since their shots. We've been home for a week and a half um, from the trip. She's cut three teeth. She's just working on her fourth one, and then she'll be up to 16 teeth like him. They're over their colds. So it's like, all right, we got we to gotta get it together here because I just feel like the nursing is um, it's not a good thing anymore. I mean, nursing is great and everything, but just the dynamic that's happening between us isn't good. Like, I actually had to leave the playroom yesterday so that they would just stop crying and play with Jeff. Because me being there, all they would do is cry and climb on me and want um, me to nurse them. And it was almost dinner. So I left the playroom, cleaned downstairs, made dinner, and, um, and they didn't make a peep. They had fun and played, and that's how it should be. I don't want them to whine and cry just because I'm around, and I don't want them to nurse every second. Um, I pretty much have nursed on demand this entire time that they've been nursing. Uh, they're 16 months now, and I personally am done now that they are going to drink almond milk. They're the age they are. They're just little gymnasts on the boobs. It's not enjoyable. It's not fun. Um, like I said, I think it's just causing more issues than it is um, benefiting anyone at this point, at least my sanity. And I will be starting a job soon, probably, if all goes well. And then they'll have to get used to, you know, there's a lot of things that um, need to come to an end. And nursing is one of them, so that we can kind of get happier, less fussy babies going on here. Lala. So, yeah, so they're just having a snack right now. Yeah, you want to say hi? Say, mwah, mwah. Say, good morning, everyone. Say, good morning, everyone. Hi, baby. Say, good morning. So they've got, what do you got in your bowl? You decided, you know, you always walk off with your bowl. She's got some, yes you do. She's got raisins in her bowl. And then um, over on the table here, we got some bananas. We got some puffs. And it looks like he already chowed on <laughs> all the fruit snacks. You didn't share any with Sissy? Hmm? All gone? Can I have the bowl? All done. All done. Thank you. You eat what's on the table now. Careful, Sissy. Watch out. So that's all that's going on. We'll see how well this no nursing at nap time works. Uh, I'm going to put them down in about an hour. And so that's why I refilled their, um, I refilled their, what do you call it, milk, their almond milk, so that they could get another cup in their system, get a snack in their system, and have a nice full belly to take a nice long nappy. Um, the, oh, the other thing, too, why I really want to push nursing is, ironically, she slept through the night the past few nights, but she was waking up at least once to or twice a night since we've been back, and even when I was gone, she was waking up in the middle of the night. So she's back to night nursing, which isn't necessary, and then now he's been waking up at 3 in the morning or 4 in the morning, and I'm having to nurse him just to get him back to sleep because he's standing up, like, wide awake, like, hey. And so I'm like, no, I'm not starting my day at that time. Five or six is early enough. So, yeah, there's just a lot of reasons to be done. Uh, my, my boobies have had it. They need a break, especially if we're going to go for number three soon. And, um, and I will nurse them from the get-go. So I just want a little, a little break in between. And um, they just fight over me. They just... It, when they, one nurses, the other one's a nurse, and then they whine, and it's this battle, and it's making them be territorial over me, like, no, those are my boobs, or that's my mom, and it's not needed. I don't want any of that. So, 
like I said, I think just too many problems are coming out of nursing this long now. So, for me personally. So, hopefully, cross our fingers, this all goes well and they transition smoothly. And we can actually, like, officially start the weaning process and move forward. Because before we left for Washington, they actually were nursing maybe twice a day. And they were doing that themselves. There's be, there would be days that Sissy didn't even want it in the morning. She would only nurse at night. And um, so I just figured she was self-weaning and she was ready. And then we went on the trip and I was nursing on demand and nursing for comfort and nursing on the airplane and nursing all the time. And, and then that's why we are where we are now, I think. So kind of went a little backwards. Got to move forward now. Something that I'm starting to work with them on now, too, is cleaning up after themselves. Obviously, not everything, but just learning, you know, to pick up things here and there. And we're just starting small with easy stuff like the bristle blocks or the Legos or their wooden blocks. Like things that go into buckets so that they can learn to put them in. Um, and that's where I'm just starting right now. Um, I started it, I guess, a couple days ago. So, now that they're 16 months, I just feel like their communication is getting better. Their, under, their understanding, pretty much, is getting really good. They know what I'm saying when I say, grab your milk, or where's your giraffe, or where's Spongebob, or go get your car, or, where's the book. Like, they go right to what I say. So, they totally understand. And so I just uh, sing the cleanup song, and then I put it in, and I show them, and then I'll hand them, like give them a pile in front of them of the blocks, and I'll hand it to them, and then show them, here, you know, you put it in the bucket, and then they follow suit, so they put away some of the blocks, and then I do it with them, and they put away one block each, and then I'll do a handful, and so that way they see what I'm doing, and they're doing it, and then I just clean <laughs> sing the cleanup song over and over and over again until we're done cleaning up that mess. And, um, and then I say, yay, good job, high five, and I give him a big hug, say thank you. So, now that they're 16 months, I realize I guess I'm kind of doing a lot weaning, trying to teach them cleaning up, and, um, also working on, like, saying they're sorry when they hurt each other, or, um, understanding that what they're doing, whether it's taking a toy, fighting with one of them, one of them. Uh, with each other or pushing each other or uh, whatever it is because that's happening a lot. I want them to know, you know, no, that's not nice. Be nice. Say sorry. Give hugs. Don't stand on that, buddy. You're going to fall. Bubby, you can't do that. You're going to break it. They want to sit, climb, go under, go in, anything and everything. He got caught in the shopping cart yesterday. He tried going underneath the rocking horse today, like in the small little square. And I'm like, you're not going to fit, dude. Give it up. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm teaching him sorry and hugs and, you know, to be nice and try not to take stuff from each other because that's his biggest thing. That's what's happening right now. He took it, and now she's upset running after him and is going to cry. <laughs> That's what's happening. Oh, and yesterday was super exciting. Last night, just before bed, Sydney did her first unassisted somersault all by herself. She likes going on her head. Um, and she flipped over by herself. I might have been an accident, might have been intentional, but she's got, like, she understands what it means, so we yayed her. And then, like, I assisted her in doing it again to see if she would do it again, but it was right before bed. Um, so... But I thought that was pretty exciting. That's young to do that. This is her upset because he just took what she was playing with. Even though he didn't want it, it's on the ground there now. He just wanted to be, see? So then that was the exchange. She traded, have this ball so it can have that back. It's so funny how they interact, the baby communication that goes on. Did you, you should be happy you traded him. And now she doesn't even want it. But it was the principle of getting it back. And it's almost nap time. Huh, it's almost nap time. That's the Bob drawer. We got Bob cups, Bob phones, sponge bobs, Pez dispensers, stuffed animals. Huh, is that Bob? That's Bob. Let's go, babies. We're going to go get the mail, but Sissy wants to keep walking in the street. Look how cute I did her hair. Come on, guys, this way. Hey, that's the opposite way. Is that Spongebob? That's Bob.
SpongeBob. Can you say SpongeBob? Don't take it. Thank you. Where's your SpongeBob? Whoa, those are some big SpongeBobs. SpongeBob? Yeah, Bob. That was a good tactic. You threw those on the ground and then Sissy went for them. Is that SpongeBob? Uh oh, and it begins. This is what we go through multiple times a day. Even though she dropped it. Woo! Baby down. Baby upset. He's coming to me for protection. Why are you so... Hey, you dropped it. He has it now. It's only fair. You play with something else. You gotta play with something else now. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. It's almost eight. Babies are sound asleep, and tomorrow is a super early morning. I'm watching um, my friend's little boy, and she will be here at 4:40 in the morning. Ah. So we're gonna go to bed and hang out for a little bit in hopes that we're asleep soon, so that the morning won't feel so painful. So, gonna call it a night. See you guys in the morning. Bye.